Hey pals, Siska to your Mary here and welcome to the channel. Today is Theme Thursday. Tony usually goes Theme Thursday, Theme Thursday, Theme Thursday. So I'll do it for her since she's not here today. So it's April and our theme for April is collections. You guys have already seen our Year of the Ear 2020 collection. Tony did a collection last week and now it's my turn to do a collection. What we decided to do for April is to kind of swap back and forth so you can see some of Tony's and some of my collections. Uh, we don't really have any joint collections other than our Year of the Ear. So that's what we're doing. If you guys aren't familiar with our theme Thursday, basically we pick a theme for the month and we do videos on Thursday. So you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And at the end, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. So my first collection is gonna be Lounge Fly Mini Backpacks. I'm only gonna show my lounge fly mini backpacks. I'm not gonna show Danielle Nicole's. I'm not gonna show crossbodies. I'm not gonna show purses. Only the lounge fly mini backpacks because I didn't want this to be an hour long video with all those bags and purses. So just lounge fly mini backpacks. I'm gonna start with my very first one and go from there. So you guys ready? Let's get into it. So my first lounge fly mini backpack that I ever got was this Safari Mini. And isn't it adorable? So it has the giraffe kind of like um, etched in over here. And then you have your embroidered Minnie Mouse and she is wearing just like this adorable little green polka dot with her um, vintage um, hat. And then it has a little zip right here in this cute little flower on the zip. Da -da. And then the green um, safari colored bow. And on the top, it does have the little giraffe print mini ears. The sides have side pockets. One is a zip side pocket and it's in the giraffe um, like suede. And the other side is not a zip, but it is also that giraffe print. The back just has the green um, leather straps like this. And then it has two zipper pulls to unzip. And the inside is not giraffe, it's zebra print, but it is a brown zebra print. And so it also has a zipper pocket inside there with the brown zebra print. So this is the very first lounge fly mini backpack that I ever got. My husband, Michael, uh, he bought most of these. Um, if he didn't buy it, I will let you know. But if I don't tell you, then he bought it. So that was the first one. So then I'm going to show you, we're going to kind of move into um, what I would consider like attraction bags. So this Peter Pan would be like an attraction bag because of Peter Pan's flight. And it's um, like a leather material. It's really cute. The Lost Boys are embroidered across the front. Tink is not. She's like a um, vinyl stick-on. Peter Pan is embroidered, and the pattern of the bag is Neverland, and it goes all the way around. The bag stays as the Neverland pattern. On this side pocket, you have embroidered Tink, and on the other side pocket, you have the Lounge Fly plaque. Um, it has a huge front zip pocket, um, unzips all the way. And then it also has two zipper pulls to unzip. And the inside um, pattern is um, like brown and cream and it's Neverland with the Lost Boys. It also has a zipper pocket here in the back. Super cute. I love this bag. It's a little bit smaller than the others, so it's easy to carry. Um, it's not super heavy, but it's nice and big on the inside to fit everything in. So sticking with what I would call attraction bags or bags we get at the parks, Woody the Sheriff, Sheriff Woody. This was purchased at um, Hollywood Studios in the um, uh, gift shop right outside of Toy Story Mania. So this bag basically is dressed like Woody. 
has his sheriff's bag. It is a leather bag, has his belt buckle. The lounge fly plaque is here. Got the yellow and red pattern, your bandana, your cow print. Like it's basically just dressed like Sheriff Woody. The side pocket here is a holster, which I think is adorable. And the pocket is there. The back is just a navy, like your denim. And then this side has a pocket as well. The front has a very large zip pocket. And the inside looks like this. And then the main compartment has two zipper pulls, like the other two. And I haven't used it in a while, so it does have the stuffing in it. But the um, it does not have an inside pocket. So the inside lining, though, is cowboy stuff. So it's Woody's cowboy hat, cactus, a boot, a bandana. It's really cute. So that is my Woody, Sheriff Woody, mini backpack. We're going to stick with this um, parks attractions theme. And we are going to go with the Small World backpack. So this is the first one I purchased myself. It was not a gift for my husband. And if you know anything about me, you know that I love the Small World clock face. It's one of my um, pin collections, small pin collections, but I do try to collect other things with the clock face on it. So this was perfect for me. And I actually picked this up at the Character Warehouse. Um, this was the best deal of all that I got. It was $12.99 at the Character Warehouse. So it is the white and gold clock face, small world, small world. Your plaque is here. Um, I do love how it kind of like, this is like an attached piece. So it hangs off the bag. It is white with gold polka dots all the way around. And both side pockets are just like this. And they do, you know, just normal side pockets. It does have the gold leather strapping and two zipper pulls like the others. I did just use this one, so um, it does have a few things inside, but the inside is just a gold and white stripe, white polka dot <laughs> stripe, gold and white polka dot, just like the outside. Um, this is one of my favorites and one of my most used bags, um, just because it's easy to carry, um, and it it was an inexpensive bag for me. Um, I don't think I showed this. It does have a front zipper pocket with the lining, the same as the inside of the big bag. So small world. All right, we're gonna go to the actual Magic Kingdom um, attractions bag. We did get this last year in the parks. So, and the reason why he grabbed this one was because of placement. So, I love country bears. We have a country bear here, but seriously, the clock face is right here on the front, but also your placement is really good for teacups and the pirate ship and Dumbo. So, this was a really good placement find that um, Michael grabbed for me. Um, it is really super cute. The pattern is exactly the same all the way around. Uh, you have lots of different Magic Kingdom things on here. The castle has got a great placement here. You've got pirates, turkey leg, Mickey, Goofy, all the all the different things. This is Rover from Carousel Progress, Orange Bird up there. Um, lots of different things from the Magic Kingdom on this bag. I love the blue color. But like I said, it's the same all the way around. It's an all over pattern. It does have a rather large um, front zip pocket with the same thing on the inside. And then I'm actually in process of using this bag, so all of my stuff is in it, but it does have a blue and white striped inner lining. But like I said, inside is very full because this is the bag that I'm currently using. All right, so that is the last like attraction-based kind of bag that we have. And now we're gonna move into like, um, characters or, um, yeah, characters is what we're going to go for. So I'm going to start because this is an all over print that is similar to the all over print of the Magic Kingdom is my villains all over print bag. I actually won this bag in a giveaway from Danita of Absolutely Fabulous. Um, she had a live and she was asking questions and I got one right. So I won this bag. 
It's an all over print, so it's exactly the same all the way around with the black straps. Um, the featured villains on this bag are Cruella, Maleficent, Ursula, and the Evil Queen. So like your top lady bad girls. Um, it does have a front pocket with the same inner lining. The plaque is on the front. And then I haven't used it since, probably since I want it. So it's stuffed, hasn't been used. And the inner lining here is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a V for villain with a crown on it. It's black and gray. I actually really, really love this bag. I just, I have a hard time using the villain bags outside of October a lot of times because I feel like they're specific to um, Halloween. I know they're not, but sometimes I feel that way. Next up, we're going to go with Cruella DeVille. This is my Cruella bag. She is awesome. I love her eyeshadow and her hair. It's like a separate piece. Um, she's just gorgeous. Um, she has the Dalmatian print all the way around with the red accents, which I think is amazing. And the black leather strapping, two side pockets, nothing really special. And then the plaque of the lounge fly plaque here on the front and the large zipper pocket on the inside. And it's just like her, her hair on the inside, the black and the white. And then I haven't used this one in a while, but it is a solid red in, inner lining, just with that nice red accent, um, like the inside of her coat. So that's my Cruella DeVille. All right, next up, we have another character and it's Edna Mode. If you don't know, Edna Mode is one of my favorite sidekicks. So we have Edna Mode here. It is black and pink. It's uh, basically a solid black bag with pink outline, pink uh, detailing. Her glasses, which I love, and then this face that she's making is adorable. But it is, like I said, black all the way around. It does have like on the um, pockets here, like her, like the V of her here. So it has this on the pockets. Um, two pockets either side. The plaque is on the front. It also has a nice uh, pocket here on the front. And then two zipper pulls. And the inner lining of this is adorable. And it says, no capes, no capes, no capes. So that's super cute. Um, I just got done using this one. This was the one I was using right before the other. So it doesn't have its stuffing back in it yet because I wanted to go ahead and get this filmed. All right, moving on to the next of the character bags, we have Oliver and Company, and this was given to me by Shelby over at Bibbidi Bruner. If you haven't seen the video where I opened this, I will link it up here so you can go and check that out. Um, but we did a box swap, and this was one of the items in the box swap. So, I love Oliver and Company. It was one of my favorite movies um, when I was a little bit younger. And this just, I just think this is awesome. Um, I love the piano uh, element, the swinging here. But you also have all the dogs here and then the city line. And it is a really pretty tan color. And then on the back, you have this etching of Oliver, which I think is precious. It does not have a front pocket, but it do ha do has. It does have two side pockets, and then the plaque is here on the side. It has two zipper pulls, and the inner lining is little Oliver's. How cute is that? It is stuffed. It hasn't been used since I got it, but there's the inner lining. All right, continuing with more characters. We have my newest backpack, and that is the Rescuers Down Under. Um, also one of my favorite movies, both of them, the original and Rescuers Down Under. Um, I believe these are, this is such an underrated movie, and I love Bernard and Bianca. They're one of my main pin collections, uh, so I had to have this bag. Um, it hasn't been used. I still have the uh, stuffing in the in, in the front pocket, but it is just uh, such a beautiful scene. So, um, we have this, <laughs> sorry, we have this great 
scene from the movie here. It's a pretty color. It really makes you think of um, the movie. And then on the side pocket, we have this embroidery, which is beautiful. And then on the back, this is not embroidered. It is like a, a vinyl right here. And then on the same, same thing on this side pocket. Like I said, this is still, the stuffing is still in here from when I got it. Um, I actually got this from a Facebook seller um, for less than retail, so I was super excited about that. And the inner lining just says Rescuers Down Under with the same pattern as the side pockets. All right, continuing on with our characters, we're going to move into the Cinderella bags now. I have a array of Cinderella bags, but we're going to start with my favorite sidekick, and that is Gus Gus. You know, when this bag came out, um, I had text Michael, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to get it. And he was like, I already got it. So, he got it immediately when he saw it. Um, he gets updates and things um, from the different sh shops when new things come out like this. So, um, But it is, it's just Gus Gus, as you can see. His teeth are adorable here. He's big old ears. He's wearing his hat, and he also has his feet. Like, it's the cutest. And it is like a leather, and it's the same all the way around. And then on the back, it has embroidered on the bottom, take it easy, cluck, cluck. So if you've seen Cinderella, which I'm thinking most people have, there's a scene when he's trying to gather the corn and the chickens are getting it, and he tells them to take it easy. So I think that's adorable. Um, it does have a pocket in the front here, and it has a little piece of corn as the dangle off that pocket pull, and it's just a regular sized pocket. I'm gonna show you the inner lining because it's precious, um, and it has a pocket in the back as well, right here, and the inner lining is green with little Gus Gus everywhere. So, guys, this is one of my favorite bags. Look at that, and it's so cute. This is one of my favorite bags. I love Gus Gus. I think this was an awesome bag to make, um, and I'm so glad to have it. All right, continuing with the Cinderella theme, we're going to go on to the pink dress um, because it also has mice on it. So we're going to move into this pink dress bag. Um, I think we got this, you know, the day it came out. I just love it. Like, pink dress Cinderella is my favorite because it's her mother's dress, and I just absolutely love that part of the story. It has the little girl mice here working on the dress. This is textured, um, and, of course, it has little bows, and then the birdies are um, embroidered, and then there's a little girl mouse up here as well. The side pockets are textured like the dress with bows on it. The back has the pink straps and also... Um, measuring tape for part of the strap as well as measuring tape on the top. There's an embroidery of Gus Gus with a spool of thread and your lounge fly plaque on the back. And like I said, the side pockets are like the dress with the bow on it. It has a front pocket and the zipper pull on the front pocket is a pair of scissors, which is precious. And it just has just like a normal front pocket here. And then this one is stuffed because it's been quite a while since I've used it. Um, some of them are just too pretty and I'm afraid to mess them up so I don't use them very often. But this is from the 70th anniversary of Cinderella. And um, so that is what is on the inside, Cinderella 70th, with some pictures of some mice as well. One of my favorites, again, it is just so pretty. I don't want to use it and get it messed up. That's. <laughs> I'm always worried about that. All right, so the next Cinderella bag also has mice on it, and it is this one. This one actually came from Hot Topic. Um, the Hot Topic bags tend to not have side pockets on them, um, but that's okay. It's not a not a big deal. It doesn't matter to me. But it does have the cute little mice uh, dancing in front of the buttons, the birds with the necklace. Uh, I would believe this is the scene where they are singing Cinderella, so that's really cute. Um, it does have 
the back straps. These are not padded. They're not quite as comfortable as the other ones, but it's okay. I still wear it. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have side pockets, but it does have this zipper front pocket here. And the inside of this bag, I think is just solid blue. Yeah, it is just a solid blue, but it does have a pocket on the back side. Um, I do love this bag as well. It's easy to carry. Um, because it's just, just a simple bag. All right, continuing on with Cinderella, we're gonna go straight into this one, which also has mice on it and is blue, has the pink dress on it as well. Um, I think it came from Hot Topic also. So we have this one and it just has a full scene of the pink dress and the mice on the front. This is um, textured here with the bow. And then it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes right here. I love this little gold detailing at the top. It's gorgeous. And then the side has the plaque. No side pockets again, but the back has these three little girl mice, which is adorable. The zipper pull is a carriage. Let's see if we can't. We'll have to show it this way. Is the carriage. And the inside is precious. It has a pocket actually on both sides. So it's a pocket on this side, a zipper pocket on this side, but the inside of this bag is adorable, super adorable. I carry this one a good bit. Um, I carry most of my Cinderella ones a good bit because Cinderella is my favorite. All right, sticking with blue Cinderella, we have an all over print Cinderella bag. Here we are. And it has mice and a clock on it and the carriage and a pumpkin and some flowers. And it's just an all over print on the sides. This, the back is a solid blue. It also has um, these same straps that are not leather. So they're a little bit less comfortable. Also a Hot Topic bag. It has this humongous front pouch. Um, huge front pouch, which is perfect since it doesn't have side pockets. No side pockets, but that's okay because it has a huge front pouch. And then the inside is a solid blue. It also has a um, pouch back here, and then it's just solid blue on the inside. It does have two zipper pulls as well. Again, I've used this one a lot because I love it. All right, continuing on. More Cinderella bags. We have this Cinderella bag, which uh, came from Hot Topic as well. Blue. The pattern on here is really pretty with her shoe and the pumpkin and these flowers. And you have just this flower over here and then Cinderella and some more flowers right here on the front. There are no side pockets again, as it is a Hot Topic bag with the non padded straps. You do, however, have a front pocket like that and then the big portion does have a pocket right here and is solid blue on the inside so one of those ones that I actually will carry a good bit just because um, it's a lighter type bag and it's smaller than the rest of them all right last Cinderella bag of the bunch and it is her blue dress which I think is gorgeous. This is a velvet bow, which is super cool. And then we have all this um, embossed, I guess is what this is, textured stuff on the bottom. Um, the sides here, it's silver, and then in the center, it's blue. But this is kind of like, like her dress, how it goes like this. There are, it's pretty in silver on the side with a side pocket, padded straps, solid blue around the back and then another like silver side pocket here and uh there's this no front pocket because it's a full design on the front um it does have two zipper pulls and on one of the zipper pulls how cute is this it's Jacques and Gus Gus and then the inside has a zipper pocket in the inside on the back and this pattern is gorgeous. The birds and the carriage, beautiful. All right, that was the last Cinderella bag. We have three bags left. We're gonna go into um, 
This one, which has multiple princesses on the front, Cinderella, Moana, Snow White, Ariel, Tiana, Aurora, Belle, Jasmine, and Rapunzel. I absolutely loved this when I first saw it. It is leather. It's a beautiful bag. I love the color and how it's this like tannish color with this mauve pink accent. Um, and the art of the princesses on here, I think is beautiful. Honestly, I think Snow White is the prettiest um, art on this one, but I do love it all. Some of uh, my favorites, and I just think this is gorgeous. It does have side pockets, one on each side. The back is just the tan with pink padded straps. Um, this nice big pocket here goes all the way down the bag, the whole, the whole length of the bag, which I think is cool. And then two zipper pulls, and the hardware on this one is rose gold, which is really neat. It's not like any of the other ones I have. And then the inside, has a zipper pocket on the back with lots of cute little um, princess things on it, perfume bottles, mirrors, uh, a dingle hopper, a hair comb, you know, all that stuff. So it's really pretty. And like I said, I love the color of this bag. It's a beautiful color. I think it, it fits perfectly with what's on it. So to go from there into the next one, it's another princess or Disney would say she's a princess, but she is definitely a heroine, and it is Mulan. And this is a fully um, canvas pattern on the front of this bag, which the rest of it is leather. I absolutely adore the coloring, the pink and the purple coloring of this bag. Um, I never would have thought that this pink and purple coloring would be perfect for this Mulan dress, but it is. Um, the flowers and the trees here are embroidered. There's gems in the flowers up here. And then you have Mulan and I cannot remember the horse's name and Mushu. Somebody please tell me in the comments what her horse's name is. Um, and then you turn it around and it's got purple side pockets and the rest of the bag is pink. Purple straps. The bag is pink on the back. And then purple and pink over here. It only has one zipper pull. It goes from side to side. And the inside lining is just a solid purple. But like I said, the coloring for this bag, I think, is phenomenal. I just think this is gorgeous. All right, guys. We're on the last, we're on the last, we're on the last lounge fly mini backpack of my collection. And it's one of my absolute favorites. And it is the Mickey Pineapple. It's a Mickey Pineapple! If you don't know, I absolutely love pineapples. My kitchen is decorated with pineapples. And so when I saw this, I had to have it. It is super soft leather, like almost like a quilt type. You know, I see how it's um, patterned like this. It looks like a quilt. It feels like a quilt. It's very, very soft leather. It's literally just a pineapple all the way around. It has pineapple ears and the crown, right, pineapple crown here in the center, this nice bright yellow lounge fly um, plaque. It needs some stuffing because it hasn't been used in quite a while. Um, it has two side pockets. They're exactly the same pattern as the bag. And it has a front pocket here. And then it has two zipper pulls, but it's kind of like, um, gunmetal almost on the zipper pulls. And then the inside of the bag has this lovely pineapple, Mickey pineapple pattern. It's blue, I love the blue. I think it was a great color choice for the inside of this bag, um, cause it goes so well with the yellow, the navy and the yellow. So there's my pineapple bag. This is my Lounge Fly Mini Backpack Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really super long and I'm so sorry if you made it all the way to the end. Thank you very much for watching. Um, leave in the comments down below, are we bag twins on any of these bags? Um, which one did you like the best? Did you see one that you just have to have? Um, new ones came out today, the day I'm filming, and there's a Remy from Ratatouille Bag and a new Cruella 
I just really have to have them. I'm going to try to get them as soon as I possibly can because I don't have a Remy. And if you guys know me, you know I love all the mice and rats and rodents of Disney. Um, again, thank you for watching. And until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.